here's Russian sage. It will get, again, double, uh, triple in size, and again, another foot in height. Um, tolerates very drought conditions, but also can tolerate a little bit of um, a well-drained, moist condition. Uh, the highlight of it is the silvery um, blue color, which can be pulled from the stone and slate, and um, just great color all season long, starting in uh, late July through the end of the season. Now it's sage, does it smell like sage? Yes, it does. Okay. It does have a scent. That's the other thing that you can do in certain gardens is uh, the nepta and the um, Russian sage have a scent so it keeps critters away because they don't like it. Oh. So you can selectively use those. So you can Well, there's some others because there's the Russian sage and the... Nepta, catmint. Oh, catmint. Oh, mm -hmm. I know that one. So, but you can use chives. There's all sorts of ornamental chives that have some wonderful color to them. Of course, garlic, um, and it actually does have some neat blooms, and then it's, you know, dual purpose, because then you can get garlic out of that. Um, you have any of your other sages, uh, and salvias are another variety that you can do. Blue salvia, there's some perennial blue salvia that can be used in different scents,